What's going on, YouTube? What's happening? What's happening? Real quick, real quick. Ivana sighting! <gasps> She's so mad. She's so mad. What is happening, YouTubes? We're back. Back on my channel. Regular video. Regular video. Batman vs. Superman. Got a corrupt file in my movie theater. So here I am. Uh, I had plans tonight. They're out the window. We're hanging out. We're doing a video. First, what are we doing a video on? We're going to do a video on, on uh, Red Dawn. Red Dawn is a flavor that I created on the DIY show a while ago. This is the very last of this particular bottle. We'll be remixing with this particular bottle. Red Dawn is a strawberry rhubarb pie. Uh, quite honestly, it's one of the best flavors one of the best diy flavors i've come up with in a bit uh i loves it i loves it so good so good so it's a pie crust with brown sugar strawberries and rhubarb if you've never had a strawberry rhubarb pie it's a it's a nice it's a, you get that sweetness of the strawberry, and then you get the tartness of the rhubarb. Rhubarb's a really tart uh, fruit. I think it's a, I think it's considered a fruit. It's got to be a fruit. Could be a vegetable. Who knows? But so it's a it's a sweet tart pie type flavor. Uh, I really 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 dig on this dig on this particular flavor so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up mix ourselves up a batch uh i'll give you guys the, give you guys a recipe this is for those folks that don't watch my diy show that don't have the time to sit down for two or three hours and hang out with me uh i think i'm gonna start doing more in these or at least that's my intention is to start doing more of the more of the recipe videos again uh you know kind of share what we're coming up with on the diy show over in a regular video hopefully i can keep it brief Never can tell with me, though. Never can tell with me. Anyway, folks. Anyway, folks. About that time. About that time. Let's move down low. Let's mix. Let's mix some stuff. Let's do this. Let's do it, everybody. Do it. Just do it.
All right, everybody, and here we are down low. We're mixing, we're mixing. So your ingredients you're gonna need for this, black currant by Flavor Art. Not that. There we go. Pie crust, pie crust by TPA or Signature, whatever. They're the exact same. They're the exact same company. One on one flavors. It's a newer flavor. Well, they're not a newer flavor company. They've been around a bit, but they're starting to catch on. This is rhubarb crisp. Rhubarb crisp. Uh, you're going to need some strawberry by Flavor Art, or the Red Touch, as it is also called. And you're also going to need some strawberry ripe by TFA or Signature, either one. And you will also need brown sugar, which I did not grab. Do I have brown sugar sitting over here somewhere? It's always a possibility. I do not. Dang it. I'm back in a second. And we're back. Brown sugar by TFA or Signature. Whatever works. Whatever works for you guys. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, guys, let's go. Let's do this thing. Let's mix some. Let's mix this stuff up. All right. So, first ingredient we're going to use is so we're going to use some. Let's just start off with our black currant. One of my personal favorite flavors on the planet. Black currant by Flavor Art. Need a half a percent, half a percent of black currant by flavor art. Half a percent. Point one five mLs. There we go. Point one five mLs of black currant by flavor. That is a half a percent. It's a half a percent. A little itsy bitsy bit goes a long way. Same thing with the brown sugar. Brown sugar by TFA or Signature. Really, really, really super duper strong flavor here, folks. So. Super duper strong flavor. 0.15 mLs. So. 0.15. Almost there. Almost there, everybody. There we go, 0.15 mLs. 0.15 mLs. Just for, you know, perspective, 0.15 mLs is about, that is about uh, eight drops or so. So it's not much. We're not adding much of these, these two particular flavors. Next, Rhubarb Crisp by One on One Flavors. I was lucky enough to have Don from Adore E-Liquids, who I named this particular e-liquid after. Uh, she was doing a, an order of one-on-one -on -one and happened to be picking this flavor up. I asked her for some and she said she hooked, she hooked a brother up. So rhubarb crisp is 1.5 mLs or 5%. So you need 5% here. 5% here, everybody. Of that rhubarb crisp. Go. Oh, that rhubarb crisp, five percent rhubarb crisp, but going in and in a thirty ml batch, that's one one point five mLs. Go ahead and set that one aside. Let's go ahead and set that one aside real quick, everybody. Let's go ahead and get our pie crust going. Let's get our pie crust on. 
pie crust by TFA or Signature, wherever you happen to pick it up. This is going to be a 3%. 3% or 0.9 mLs. Oh, it was close. Close first try. There we go. 0.9 mLs. Going on in. 0.9 mLs. Just that easy, everybody. Just that easy. We are almost completed here. Next, Strawberry Ripe. By TFA or Signature. Strawberry Ripe. Great flavor. Great flavor. Useful flavor. You can use it in a ton of different recipes. Adds a nice ripe garden type strawberry to your type flavor to all of your mixes that you're using. Love this flavor. Love. So, strawberry ripe was uh, 2%, so 0 0.6, 0 0.6 mLs. There we go. Right at 0.6, right at 0.6 mLs. There you go, everybody. 2% or 0.6 mLs in a 30 mL batch. It's just 30 mL batch. I can already smell it. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Flavor art, strawberry, aka the red touch. You guys know how much I love this. You guys know how much I love this flavor. This flavor is getting tough to get. Tough to get. I like to blame myself for that. So if you're trying to get the red touch, everybody, and you're having trouble, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for it. 1.2 mLs. 1.2 mLs. 1.2 milliliters. Got a big old air bubble, so we will accommodate for that. There we go. And there's that. And we're done. We're done. The recipe is complete. Just that one. Just that easy, everybody. So black currant brown sugar pie crust, red touch, rhubarb crisp. Next, put a little nick in it. A little nicotine. We put a little nicotine. Up in our mix here. I'm, I'm going to do a 1.5 milligram for myself. It should be a 0.45 or about half an ml. For three mi for three milligram juice, you want 0 0.9, 0 0.9 mLs. There we go. For me, what I'm up to, there we go, Point, point four five, thereabout, thereabout for my nicotine, just for what I'm up to. Nicotine done. Juice is just about completed, everybody. Next, need yourself a nice, some VG. I, if you're, if you're, I get this question all the time, Fresh, where do you get your VG from? I get my VG from Bulk Apothecary. Bulk Apothecary. You can get a gallon of it shipped to your door for uh, roughly 25 bucks or so. Really clean. Gallon's gonna last you forever unless you're making massive batches. If you're just doing one person, it'll last you quite a while. It'll last you quite a while. And we're just filling this sucker up. Not quite to the top. We're filling right to, for me, I, I've used these bottles, these particular bottles a lot. I know where the 30 mil mark is. But if you got yourself a nice calculator, you can always look it right on up. You look it right on up, right about there. That is perfect. That's perfect. All right. So VG, that is 24.6 mLs, or they're, they're about doing it the way I just did it. Not particularly exact, but 
like I said, I know these bottles and I know what they need to, to I know what they need to reach their 30 mil. Let's go ahead and This thing is always freezing and stuff. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Let's move back up top. Talk to me, folks. Talk to me. Talk to me. There we go. Everything looks okay. Doesn't look out of sync or anything. Uh, the editing is going to take forever. Take forever. It is slightly out of sync. Editing on this is going to take forever, everybody. But video completed. We have a flavor done. Strawberry rhubarb pie. Like I said, it's a sweet tart pie. Really nice with the brown sugar. Uh, the black currant kind of turns the strawberry into like a, you get a strawberry gel, you get a strawberry filling type thing going on. It's really, really tasty. Really, really tasty. Don does not, not like strawberry vapes. Uh, Don from Adori Liquids. And we went ahead and uh, we hooked her up with the bottle and she went she went through it. She went through it pretty well. So. You know, it's uh, it's one of those flavors. I think I think if you whip it up real quick, you'll you'll probably enjoy it quite a bit. It's I think it's a lovely, lovely, lovely flavor. Uh, I do like a strawberry rhubarb pie. You may not like a strawberry rhubarb pie. Uh, like I said, the rhubarb can be quite, quite, quite sour. Uh, in this particular one, the brown sugar kind of takes it takes a little bit of the edge off of it. Uh, it also adds to the pie crust flavor. We're just we're mixing it up. We're shaking it up. We're shaking it up. That's how you can always tell a DIYer. Anytime they pick up juice, they just like look at it and start shaking it up. Doesn't matter if it's pre-mixed or anything. Just go. So real quick before anything else, uh, if you guys haven't checked out at the Addy's Yogurt Project, we got gone on over with Fluent Vapors. Uh, it is a 100% non-profit e-liquid. It has been, we've been going for what, two months now? And I think we're closing in on five grand worth of, worth of cash monies that we've given up to them, which is awesome. Spectacular. It's all thanks to you guys. Um, like I said, 100% nonprofit e-liquid through fluentvapors.com based off a recipe that I did. I came up with the recipe. I gave it to Fluent. They're, they're the ones making it all and we donate everything to notblowingsmoke.org. Check it out if you get a chance. It's totally worth your time totally worth your time you get some tasty liquid and you advocate for yourself at the same time quick plug quick shameless plug it's my channel i'll plug if i want i'll plug if i want to uh, da, 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 that bottom portion's still not looking quite mixed up to my liking there we go that's looking way better way better everybody I'm trying to think what else do we got going on what else do we got going on here in the world like i said i think i'm going to try and do i'm going to try and do more of the of the uh single recipes i'm going to try and do more recipes for you guys single recipe videos um it seems like you know not a lot of not a lot of my viewers are tuning in to watch the whole thing uh turn tuned in to watch the whole diy show so you may be missing the recipe Generally, I do it somewhere, anywhere from the middle to three quarters of the way through the show. Um, but yeah, I do do a live show and we do DIY. We come up with a new recipe every week just based off of suggestions throughout the week, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, if, if an idea strikes me in the middle of the week, you know, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do is I'll, I'll work on it and we'll get it ready for the weekend. We'll do it on, we'll do it on the Saturday show. Uh, we've come up with some really good, we've come up with some really good liquids. Uh, myself, Rin, Addy Tooney, uh, who else, who else jumps on there? Uh, Gizzard, Gizzard Stew, the one and only Gizzard Stew is on. Uncle Raven swings by sometimes, uh, runs his mouth. That's our, you know, it, you know, DIY and guests, we have DIY and guests on. Uh, Paul from Australia, I do like some, I do like Australians. So yeah, I was supposed to be a Batman versus Superman tonight. But they sent out a corrupt file. They sent out a corrupt file of the movie to my theater. And so they had to send that one back, get the new one in. And they told us that they weren't going to be ready to show the movie till uh, like 1 a.m., something like that. And we were all like, what the fudge? Um, so they gave us our money back, gave us some passes. Not like you can use a pass on a brand new movie. You know, that's that's some crap. That's some crap.
Mm -hmm. There it is. Got a real minor spit back there for a sec. So you're getting a nice pie crust flavor with some brown sugar going on. Um, you're getting that nice sweet strawberry and then all of a sudden you, this tart starts creeping in. And then on your exhale you get that brown sugar again, you get the strawberry and then you get like the full the full rhubarb flavor, that nice that nice tart rhubarb and you can almost taste the strings from the rhubarb plant going into it. Um, really, really, really dig on this. I really, really dig on this flavor. I think you guys will like it quite a bit. Um, like I said, I named after Don from Adore E-Liquids. Uh, Adore E-Liquid. Adore E-Liquid.com. Check out Dawn. Uh, she's awesome. She's so cool. She's helped us out a lot with the Addie's Yogurt Project. Really, you know, working behind the scenes with this. You know, really, hel really helping really helping the project out. Dawn's been awesome to us. Dawn's been awesome to everybody. Dawn's just awesome. Uh, fluent Laurel and Lee. Um, jumping on board my crazy train. Super awesome. Super awesome. Mm. And with this particular recipe, you get um, almost like a homemade pie filling. Like um, the black currant turns your strawberry flavor. It gives a little bit of a, of a pie filling. Like you like you've made you boiled down some strawberries and rhubarb together, and you know you're making your own homemade pie filling. Really, 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 really. I like I said, I enjoy it. I enjoy I enjoy this flavor quite a bit. I love I love this flavor. I make it up all the time. Um, this is another one that's approaching, uh, as close to all day vape as I get, you know, I've got, those are all different recipes that are just over here that I'm working on right now. You know, it's, it's all jerky and nasty. You know, I was just showing up, I was showing off like six bottles of experimental flavors I got going over here. Um, you know, as close to all day vapes as I get is something that I go to like two, three times a week. Uh, Addie's yogurt's one of them. Uh, Red Dawn has quickly, quickly moved up into that into that league. Uh, the Irrational Fear of Melons, I I still love that flavor. Uh, thanks to Irrational Fear, great dude, great dude. Uh, I've done videos on those for two particular flavors before. Uh, if you're not into DIY and you're just kind of hanging out watching the vid because I made a video, uh, you can buy Addie's yogurt either in liquid and concentrate if you if you want to give it a try strawberry blueberry kiwi greek greek yogurt really good i enjoy it but red dawn this particular flavor like i said it's moved up it's moved up since i came up with it on the diy show it's you know slowly but surely moved up i really dug it right away and the more i vape it the more i really i really love this flavor um it's unusual. It's not something you're going to run across in a store or anything like that. It's it's something that only, you know, a DIYer would, you know, put their mind to. Put their mind to making a strawberry rhubarb pie. Because strawberry rhubarb pie, quite frankly, isn't uh, isn't all that popular of a dessert uh, outside of the Midwest. You know, folks in the Midwest, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Montana, um, you know, Illinois, that type of area, Wisconsin, they all, they, all know, they all know about the strawberry rhubarb pie. You know, down south, they do a little strawberry rhubarb little strawberry rhubarb action but for the most part you know not a lot of people are aware of what it is and it, like i said it's just a it's a sweet tart pie really really super duper tasty and uh when i saw the rhubarb crisp flavor and don sent it my way the first thing that went through my head was you know i gotta figure out strawberry rhubarb pie so you know it's a it's it's a it's a like a natural like a natural you made your own pie filling strawberry pie filling you know, you sugar, you sugared up your strawberries, you boiled them down, you sugared up your rhubarb, you boiled it down, you created this pie filling, and you went and baked it with some brown sugar. You got a nice pie crust going, nice golden pie crust going. You know, super duper tasty, super tasty, and that's what this e-liquid is. It's super tasty, super tasty. If you get a chance to try it out, uh, it gives you a chance to check out one-on-one -on -one flavors. Uh, you're looking for their all-purpose flavors. They have a bunch of different flavors. You want to double check, make sure you're getting your stuff in PG. Uh, make sure you're getting their flavors in PG. Make sure they're safe to vape. You can usually tell right away. Uh, most of the all-purpose flavors you can use for uh, your DIY. Uh, I've really, 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 really liked everything that I've gotten from One on One quite a bit. So One on One flavors, check them out. It's One on One Flavor.com. The uh, link should be down below. Uh, in theory, uh, if I'm doing my job, the link's down below to check out One on One flavors, and that's where you would get your rhubarb flavoring. Um, 
Flavor Arts Strawberry, you should be able to pick up a couple places, assuming that it's in stock. Strawberry Ripe is everywhere. Uh, your brown sugar, the pie crust, uh, the black currant, you can usually run across those fairly easily. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll stick the recipe right here really quick. And on that note, everybody, let me know how you're doing in the comments. I talk to a lot of you guys on the live show, but uh, I know a lot of folks don't comment on the live show. They prefer to comment, you know, in the chat or uh, comment. It. They don't comment in the chat. They prefer to comment down in the comments themselves. Uh, comments down below. Uh, me, I'm a little disappointed. I didn't get, I didn't get to see Batman versus Superman. Uh, I'll go see it next week, I suppose. Everybody, be beautiful to each other. I'll see you on that next video. Kitty kiss. Ivana. Kitty kiss. Ivana. Kitty kiss. No.